Hey everyone, I'm John with Ken Sports in Kakana, Wisconsin. Welcome to Ken Sports TV. Today I'm here to talk about Northeast Wisconsin's number one selling aluminum fishing boat, and that is the Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk. This boat is full of features available and a lot of options. Let's spend a little time today and take a great look at Northeast Wisconsin's number one selling aluminum fishing boat. All right, everyone, as you can see, I'm solo today, so you're going to get the bird's eye view of this awesome boat. Let's start in the back. Our crest liners are powered by the world's number one selling outboard, and that is Mercury Marine. This particular boat has a Mercury 90 horse four stroke. What a great motor. This motor gives you lots of options. It'll idle down nice and smooth for trolling. It'll power up if you want to pull a tuber. It's very fuel efficient, very low emission, extremely quiet. If you're a do-it-yourself or at all, this boat's very easy to maintain. It's a great option for the 1650 Fishhawk. As I said before, this boat is full of features. Here's one of the most popular features we have on this boat, and that is the rear bench conversion. Now this is an option on a Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk as it is with most Crestliners, but it gives you a lot of versatility. As you see it now flipped up, it has extra passenger uh, capacity. Let's flip it down once and check it out. Look at the extended deck we have here. Great for someone to stand back here and cast all day. Super nice feature available on the Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk. If you don't like full carpet in a boat, Crestliner gives you several options in terms of flooring. This particular model has the cockpit vinyl option. This gives you vinyl in the area where your traffic is the most in the cockpit of the boat. But as you can see in the back and also up here in the front, we're still going to have carpet. Great option here from Crestliner. If you don't mind, I'm going to just take you up inside the boat here. I want to talk about one of my favorite features on this boat. Look at the ample rod storage in this boat. For a 16 and a half footer, this baby's packed full of rod storage. Keep eight rods in here, up to seven feet, six inches in length. Another super nice benefit on this boat is where the deep cycle trolling motor batteries are stored. I'm gonna remove the hatch here. Give you a little look. This boat will handle up to two batteries. For a 24 volt system. They're in the center of the boat, they're mounted slightly forward and they're low, exactly where they should be. Gets the weight off the back, lets the batteries ride safe and secure at all times. Some other interior features in here that I'd like to talk about. We're loaded with the glove box here, very ample, lots of places to keep sunscreen, sunglasses, other things like that. All of our 1650 fish hawks come loaded with a very, very ample dash. You're going to see a tack, a trim gauge, fuel, speedometer. This particular boat came with the uh, Lowrance X4 package and also the Minn Kota 55 pump Bower Drive that we're going to check out in a little bit. Need to charge that GPS or that cell phone or maybe play your iPod through the stereo that's on this boat? There's your controls right there. Let's drop the hatch. Let's take a walk up front. Here's another Crestliner innovation. It's the storage net. Again, one of my more favorite options. Great place to put soft bags, tackle, buoys, markers. It's another really nice feature. Anyone out there who's a jig fisherman is going to really appreciate this. Here's an aerated bait well. Completely separate tank, completely separate pump from everything else. Great place to keep your minnows or your leeches when you're up here uh, on the front of the deck uh, presenting live bait. I mentioned the Minkota 55 pound power drive that's on here. Uh, super nice motor, uh, uh, foot control, and it is uh, a uh, mechanical operation. It's not a cable drive. New for 2014 on the Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk is this integrated rail system and one of the options that you can put uh, in here is uh, rod holders. What this does is it allows you to slide that rod holder 
uh, forward and aft and let you uh, maybe change your setup rather than having uh, something drilled in here in more of a permanent type feature. Great innovation from our friends at Crestliner. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to step out of the boat. I want to talk about uh, some of the Crestliner quality. This one in particular has the Madfish graphics. That is an option on a Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk. We also have the double bubble console. Now this boat's available in a single and also a walkthrough. Let's take a look at Crestliner's patented uh, gunnel system. So you can see my thumb moving back and forth. If you were to uh, opt for a cover on this boat, uh, this is where that cover is going to sit. You won't have hundreds of unsightly and complicated snaps moving down the side of your boat. It's all going to be contained right here. A uh, nice neat look and uh, certainly much easier than if you're dealing with snaps. Your boat's going to come standard with the tongue jack. It's very handy uh, when you're attaching it to your tow vehicle and also moving around in the garage. Uh, for people who have a length consideration in their uh, garage, you can knock off about 30 inches with the, uh, with the collapsible tongue. Really nice benefit. Let's take a quick look at the all welded hull. Look how smooth it is. There aren't hundreds of uh, rivets here, uh, no dimples at all. Automotive uh, type paint finish. Let's check out the corners uh, where one of the primary welds would be on this hull. It's welded on the outside and also on the inside. Extremely smooth, very high level of finish. Uh, I want to Let's point out something here. The trailer is going to come standard with bearing buddies. Very nice feature. Uh, you're going to be able to keep it full of grease and be safe uh, as you're going down uh, the road to your favorite fishing location. Another great feature here, very worthy of pointing out on a crust liner, is its uh, full length keel. This is the back of the boat. So if you're ever to uh, launch this boat on a shallow landing and it's uh, going to hit the bottom somewhere, this is the lowest point, and that's where it's going to hit, that full-length keel. I'm going to move around up to the front of the boat here, and we're going to see where that keel ends at the front, which is right here. Not only does it provide the hull with extra strength, it also acts as a rudder uh, for trolling. Okay, folks, that wraps up our presentation today on the Crestliner 1650 Fishhawk. Check us out on our website at www.kensports.com. Com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Ken's Sports TV on YouTube. Thanks again, folks. We'll look forward to seeing you all again very soon.